Good evening, everyone. My name is James Crow, and I'm grateful for the opportunity to add a student's perspective to tonight's discussion. I have been fortunate enough to serve in a number of educational roles over the past few years. My first statewide appointment came in 10th grade and was to the North Carolina Virtual Public School slash Learn and Earn Online Advisory Group. Soon after that term expired, I began working my current position as the first student representative to the School Technology Commission at the Department of Public Instruction. During these same years, I have served in many other roles, a few of which include teen court attorney, city official, and community college employee. Next semester, I will even begin my second project with the Council of Chief State School Officers and NASA. More than any of these things, however, I am a part of Wayne School of Engineering's community, a senior and a member of the first graduating class. I was there during the best of times, the ribbon cutting ceremony, open houses, selection as a national learning lab, soccer games, projects, the first prom, and movie nights. But I was also there during the more difficult times as the school expanded, vetted staff, and responded to chaotic last minute funding changes. I have also had the opportunity to share many meals and celebrations from students from Wayne Early Middle College High School, a few of their staff are seated over, seated over there, another member of the new school's project. The innovative endeavors of both these Goldsboro schools reflect the resolve of the new, the new school's project in North Carolina as a whole. We are not waiting for Superman. Most important among these endeavors is the elimination of a top-down approach replaced by decision process that includes all stakeholders. At Wayne School of Engineering, this is most apparent in our new Honors Introduction to Western Philosophy course. Among the first of its kind, this team-taught team seminar laughs in the face of Monday's Education Week article, Why Students Don't Write Research Papers in High School. Our students learn by challenging not only each other's views, but also those presented by teachers and historical philosophers, inquiry that is encouraged. In fact, our philosophy class discussed Superman many weeks ago. Friedrich Nietzsche's Superman, who, unlike the comic book character, is born without any special powers, but transcends his circumstances by rejecting the traditional ideologies of society and developing his own. We all have it within ourselves to become a superman of sorts for education by replacing blind devotion to traditional philosophies with empirical methods. One of my ideas is to make our goals direct, competency-based, and testable, such as ensuring literacy and specific mathematics skills, instead of setting indirect goals such as grade level promotion and graduation, which lead to lowered curriculum standards. When we place the act of distributing high school diplomas above the achievement they are supposed to represent, there is no question as to why so many high school graduates are illiterate or in need of remedial coursework. Remember, however, when tonight is over and you return to your LEA, department, or corporation, that this is a collaborative effort. Independently, we reinvent the wheel countless times. But by staying in contact, communicating our results and best practices, we evolve from a loose collection of hermit superpersons to an entire Justice League of education innovation. I am not suggesting that this change can magically happen overnight or that it will be easy. In fact, reforming education might be the single most important goal we can set, but it is something we must achieve and something we can only do together. Up, up, and away, North Carolina. Consider this film carefully so that when others look to the heights of education reform, they won't see a bird or a plane but our schools.